Good morning. I thought this morning we'd do this uh, beautiful forsythia bush. This is a house around the corner from my house, and I, every year I see these forsythias blooming. They're just wonderful. You know, it's the season, and everywhere you look right now, this beautiful golden uh, blossoms and want just sprouting everywhere. It's exciting. Spring is coming, so uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to uh, do a quick drawing of it, and you can either join me or not. But here, uh, so what we're going to do here is start right here at this corner of the house. So uh, you want to place that right so that you don't put it too far to the left, too far, a little bit to the right here. And right about, I'd say right about there. And that's, that's a pretty level line. And then this line, see how this line is definitely goes down. And it goes all the way, all the way out. So it's sort of like this, okay? All right, I'm going to make these lines a little heavier for you so you can see. All right? So then we have this uh, roof line. We'll come down to about here for the. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Notice how this end of the roof line picks up this this horizontal line, and that's our uh, that ni nice little roof there, and that's important because it gives us. Now notice the back, this, this building line comes in just to the left of this. So it's in about here. And then we have another house in the background here. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in shadows, so. All right, then we have our you know, there's a lot of stuff under the house here. A lot of it you don't have to really pay attention to because we're not going to see it, but... Okay, we have some nice posts here. I'm going to add one here. It's not really in the photo, but I want to break up that big space. Okay, then we have our, our bush here. So you want to make sure you give that plenty of play here. Comes down to, you know, around the middle of the building there. There's a fun uh, railing here that we should put in. And that's uh, and the rest is the, the ground. We've got a nice dark tree here. And this is nice because it's a backdrop for our uh, for the gold, you know, it's re really beautiful. Some beautiful darks under here, and all of that stuff is going to help us. Okay, all right. So one thing I want you to think about, and and this goes for every painting you do, you know, the light, the direction of the light is really important. Uh, it it tells the it tells the viewer so much, and it, it involves the viewer. It brings the viewer in without them even knowing it. So now the light is hitting this this rooftop. So the direction of the light is so important. And then it's coming over here and it's picking up this, the corner of this house. I'm making it a little bit bigger. So that, by hitting here and hitting here, really helps us a lot to tell the viewer where the, where the light's coming from. It's coming from our left and then it's in here. Okay? All right, so let's get our, uh, uh, colors in here. We'll start by 
just a little bit of blue up in here in the sky. That's, I'm using uh, Daylo Blue there. All right, now we're gonna get into our shadows. So the shadows is just gonna be ultramarine blue with a touch of rose. That will give you a nice, I'm adding a touch of raw sienna here just to gray it down just a bit, a nice violet. Violet is the complement of yellow, so it will give you a nice vibration. All right, so what I want to do here is start by painting uh, essentially all the shadow shape, okay? So that will help you. Uh, we'll start right here with this building. Uh, this is all in shadow. We're going to paint all our shadow shape here. And as soon as we do, you're going to see how powerful that directional light is. Right. Now, we can add just a drop of raw sienna into that if you want up here. And that will give that a little bit of a reflective light. I'm gonna put this whole building in shadow. And if you leave it out in the sun the way it is, it's gonna, it's gonna fight with our facetias for attention. Okay, you don't want that. When you start a painting, you always want to ask yourself, what is the painting about? Why am I painting this? What's important about it? We're going to do all our shadow shape here. This is all in shadow. All right, one thing we want to do here, this, this facility is going to be reflecting a lot of light, you know, so they're putting a little raw sienna up in here. That light's going to be bouncing. We can bring that right down. Now over here we have, uh, there's a porch ceiling there that we, um, that we see. And then there's a, the post is here coming down. Another post there. And then this is inside inside the uh, porch. Okay, and that's basically all our shadow. So you can see right away how that this light is hitting that light. Uh, so over here, what we want to do is we have that uh, facithia coming in here. So just want to pick up any, you know, soften that edge and break up that hot edge there, you can put a little water on you. All right, let's put some color in this uh, railing. So the railing is gonna come in here. Just, you know, have patience with these things you do. You know, they, they come up in a lot of paintings where you have, you know, multiple, multiple shapes like this and you have to be patient and paint them in. And before you know it, you're all done, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little more of that raw sienna. It's gonna be reflecting under here, and it's under here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little darker value under the porch itself but that I'll just let it come down there's going to be some holes in the facithia you know they will you don't have to get every one of them but they will give the the uh, bush some form all right all right let's let that come down uh, I'm going to put a little bit of very light gray here this is so what I'm doing is just mixing these two together with some water and that's going to give us some a little bit of gray you know you can leave you can leave the gutter there if you want that little piece of white essentially gets rid of the white okay so it's nice, we can kind of get the whole background in. 
All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll put we'll pop in those windows. But in the meantime, we can get this. So take some raw sienna. I'm gonna get the ground in here. And we'll just bring this in. We'll bring it in with raw sienna first. And we'll pick up some green. This is phthalo green. A beautiful strip of, of green over here. And it comes up under the under the uh, bush, okay, a little bit here. All right, and while we're at it, we can get the dark in here. So let's make up a nice dark. It looks almost black in the in the uh, photo because it's so dark. But what we're going to do is put it in. This is ultramarine with the Quincy and a gives you a black. Okay, so we have first of all we have this beautiful tree here. That's pretty dark so uh, you know you can add a little bit of queen gold to that if you want but uh, it's a beautiful dark tree and it's it, what it does beautifully is give us a backdrop for our, our bush and that little piece of light is nice because it it does uh, give us a little bit of depth there there's another one in the back there, a little bit lighter, a little bit of green there. Okay, and then we can come in here with those darks. This is going to be in the middle of our bush, so just, you don't need a lot, just a couple here and there. All right, let's get this dark in under the under the bush itself. Uh, you can push that towards the Quincy Enter, I think, in here. So there's the base. It's going to come up under the under the bush itself, all the way to the to the corner. A lot of beautiful darks in there. You can leave a few dots of green as you. And put some bushes in there. You don't need to get into that lattice work. All right, so let's get the bush in. What we're going to do first with the bush is start with some raw sienna on the base of the bush here. With this will be the shadowy part of that bush, and that comes all the way up. All right, so that's the underbelly of the bush. Now we're going to get into some nice clean cadmium yellow light. Okay, this is. And even if you have cadmium yellow, that's good too. Uh, and I'm going to mix that with a little raw sienna. That, that's a little too yellow. So uh, we'll. Now, if you can paint around those darks, it would be good. And just paint the whole bush. You know, just get the whole, the the, the heart of the bush. Don't don't get into any of the. Uh, streamers yet you know they're they're all over the place there but so we're dealing with cadmium yellow light here you can see how that that yellow is going to be a big part of the reflections up there all right let that dry that's basically the heart of it so we'll let that dry up and then we'll get back into it in the meanwhile we'll, we'll paint those uh, we'll get some windows in there still a little moist but so you don't want to go too dark with these windows and they're just another really like another sh another uh, coat of um, the violet there and they're going to be going up on this keep that very simple back there we don't want too much going on all right, I dried that off now, and now that it's dry, what you want to do is take some, uh, just take some clear water and just flicker, uh, spatter some water, you know, very lightly. Not, you don't need the big splashes, so uh, dry your brush off a little bit, you know, take the heavy water out of it, and just spatter a bunch of water here, and that's going to give you some nice, uh, light, you know. 
and you can go up around too as well. All right, so take a towel, and when you spatter, you get puddles. So pat the puddles first, and then, and then you can take some, you can streak it. And you, you should be able to see. That gives you some nice uh, layers of, of color, you know, just otherwise you're painting around all this stuff and it doesn't really work, so. And you can do this as many times as you want. So that tells you that you have to put some nice heavy pigment on because you're gonna be taking some off. And if you, if you go in like wishy-washy light, you, there won't be any pigment for you to take off. So, so now what you wanna do is just take a small brush and I think, I think what I'll do is just take a little bit of white and this is just gouache. Okay, this is just designer's gouache. You don't need much, just a little bit. And we'll, we'll put that into the yellow, okay? So you take some cadmium yellow, white. And a little drop of white. That gives it a little more body and it makes it a little more uh, substantial for painting. So what we wanna do now is get this basically take this whole edge and break it up little by little um, so that's a little bit light so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of raw sienna into that okay so we're going to just break up that edge and that's obviously a pretty dry brush you know and you can see some of it's going to be much lighter and if it's too you don't want it to be too white so if it's too white just add a little more yellow to that and you can and when you when you come up bring these bring these streamers up from inside the bush you know don't just stay on the edge but come out in here that really breaks it up so this side is getting more light and this is where the the sun is hitting so it's going to be brighter over here A lot of pigment here, so this is very, you know, very dry brush. But, but you know, you can take your time. And so just go all, all along your outside edge, and, but bring it from the inside of the bush. And even down in here, you know, this, you can see, you can see in the photo how this is all, all this broken, Broken edge really helps. You know. So you can see it coming to life now. The glorious time of the year. You know, spring is around the corner. We get through it with this uh, isolation. Gives you a nice uplifted feeling. Of, okay. All right. So we can you can do as much as you need to do. And on the, the dark side there, you might want to add a little more raw sienna to it. All right, so you get the idea. So you can see, you know, in the, in the photo, there's a lot of dark darkness under here. We don't really need that. I, I, you could go in and do another layer. I put some windows in there, but you don't need to go under there. Uh, it's not necessary. This is plenty of contrast for us few of these dark trees in. These are good. They a little bit, I mean they do they do they'll they won't be as prominent once they dry, but they will keep the viewer on the page, which is good. And there's a little bit of a little bit of shrubbery under here. You know, you can do as much as work as you want on getting these holes in here and getting a little bit of depth. Okay, and then we have a few, a few branches in here. Same here, just 
Just little suggestions of branches poking out. Okay, so I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a glorious time of the year to start painting flowers. You could keep doing this too, you know. Over that dark, gloomy winter we had, there's no, no color, you know. I love, I do love the snow and I love, I love the winter in many ways, but nothing like getting these spring flowers popping, so. All right, thank you so much. I hope that helped and I will see you again soon. Thank you for joining me.